Oh, there it is! Forward. That's your slam! That's the dunk! Hello! Gamer Nom is back! So for this video, I am going to show you how to fight bosses using the Phoenix transformation. But Gamer Nom, how do you become a Phoenix? Guys, you need to finish the fight pass 4. Tier 50, you will unlock the Phoenix fruit. So, uh, I hope that you will be motivated with this video again. Again, this fruit has 3 skills. There's Fire Blast, Fire Healing, and Phoenix Fire Explosion. But Gamer Nom, where is the Phoenix Transformation? Don't worry, we will get to that. But I will just show you the skills first. Because you will be fighting bosses. I don't want you to just transform into a Phoenix and fight the boss, etc. Blah blah, something like that. Okay, so that's the first skill. The good thing with this skill is that it is long range and the cooldown is so fast. I mean, it's short. The cooldown is short. Meaning you can use the skills fast, right? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> anyway, that's the first skill. So next skill is the Healing Flame, something like that. Again, sorry for the wrong names of the skills. But anyway, Healing Flame, I will show you how good it is later. Let's focus on the first and the third skill, which has damage, okay? Okay, the C skill. C skill. Cool, guys. You see that? AOE damage. What's that? You see that? The red box something? There you go. The problem with this skill, comparing it to the first skill, is that it is only in your area. Do you see the circular thing? That's it. That's the range. Okay, next up. How do you transform to Phoenix? So simple, you just need to fly, right? Okay, when you fly, you will automatically change into a Phoenix when the fruit is activated. There you go. Again, use the first skill to fight the boss. There you go. Okay, so that's my brief introduction of the Phoenix Fruit. Now let's... Oh, sorry, sorry. I forgot to tell you about the second skill. Guys, if you have the, the Phoenix Fruit, you also have Mark of the Phoenix. Now I'm going to show you how strong it is. See that? I will, I'm gonna use the X skill, the healing. We're gonna tank the damage or the attack of this boss. There you go, did you see that? They're being damaged, that's fine. But gamer no, this is just tier 1. Don't worry, I will show you the other tiers later. Okay, you see that? We are being damaged. Now we are going to spam the X skill, the heal. Oh, we are being damaged. So if you wanna grind again. To maximize the yen that you get, you need to defeat the boss longer than usual. If, if you can defeat the boss uh, with uh, 196 seconds and more remaining time, you won't get the maximum Chikara reward. This strategy will suit you. See that? I have 159 seconds remaining. So I've maximized the Chikara rewards in that specific fight. Now we have here the Phoenix. We're gonna tank it, guys. Tier 3. Okay. We're gonna tank it. I'm supposed to show you Tier 2, but uh, let's just fast forward it here. Okay. See that, guys? See the damage? Oh, the Dark Demon has a spawn. Are we going to defeat that? No need, guys. I'm just showing you the power of the second skill. After this, I am going to show you how to do this glitch again guys don't please don't comment it on the comment section gamer Nom, why did you do this the developers will patch this guys they, they know this they're gonna patch it sooner or later let's just enjoy this while it lasts okay okay so this boss is defeated there you go gamer Nom, how do you transform tell me guys it's very easy Okay, you cannot jump in the tournament dimension, but you can transform Phoenix, then go inside. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's very easy. But you can transform outside and then just go in the boss dimension, right? That's very easy. <laughs> you don't need to. But, but, guys, as you can see, the Phoenix cannot fly inside the dimension. But still, you're fighting an enemy 
while using the Phoenix form. Not bad. The benefits, your defense will increase, the damage will be nerfed by 20%. Now, tournament dimension, I just want to show you the damages of the skills 15, 20, 25, 35. 35 damage per skill. What I want with this is that you can attack while jumping and running. For the C skill, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 damage, guys. 70 damage, not bad. Checking the range. Yes, you can still damage him if it's near the circle. But if it's this far, no, no damage at all. Now let's try it with Escanor. Here we go. From what I remember, the damage is 70. Again, the enemy isn't using champions or transformation, so this will decrease. For the C skill, it is 140. That's a lot. For a special, a fruit that has a healing power. Again, the damage is 140. For the first skill, damage is 70, but you can attack while running and jumping. Okay. Okay, next up, the defense increase. Your defense will increase by 20%. You see that? Usual 50 damage, it became 40. And for the usual 10 damage, it became 8. Do you see that, guys? The Phoenix thing. So cute. Now, the X skill, the healing. I want to show you how much will it heal your character. So we will remove the fruit first. I'll show you that way. Now, so for the damage, you will be damaged by 50. I think 70 is enough. 60, 70. 70 damage. Now we are going to heal ourselves and check if our HP will be full. So, yeah, I think it heals you 60 to 70 per skill. So guys, that will be it. Did you learn something from this video? Again, will the glitch go away? Yes. But can we use it now? Yes, let's use it. For the fans of One Piece, imagine this. Fighting Kaido. Oh, I'll make a video of that. Fighting Kaido and Marco the Phoenix. The revenge match. Okay? So, I hope that you learned something from this video guide. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom and GamerNom out.